Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing this dark brown Jeffree Star related makeup look. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already done all of my face makeup and my eyebrows and now we are just going to move on to the eyes. So for that I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Androgyny Palette and a liquid lipstick to go along with it. So first things first for the eyes, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is just the anti-aging one and I'm just going to be dotting that all over my eyelids so our eyeshadow stays nice and secure and I'm also applying some tape on the outer edges of my eyes as well. So to start off in the palette, I'm going to be using these two colors. The first one I'm going to be using is Safe Word and I usually always use this as a beginning color whenever I use this palette just because whatever color I put on top of it, it just blends out a lot better. So on just a fluffy Real Techniques brush, I'm just dusting that all over my eye and into the crease area. Next I'm going in with a little bit more of a fluffier brush and I'm taking the next color that I showed which was Charm and I'm really really packing this into the crease area and since we applied Safe Word down first this just makes it really easy to blend over top of it. So I'm just sweeping that in both of my eyes making sure that it is nice and packed in there and that the color is very much noticeable. And then the last color that we're going to be using for this look today is this dark brown shade, which is in the shade Dominatrix. And on just a flat, fluffy eyeshadow brush, this one is by Real Techniques again, I believe. And I'm just going to be packing this all over the eyelid. Not really putting any other colors on here, I really just wanted to focus on the dark brown in this palette. And I did wear this in a vlog and you guys wanted to see a tutorial on it so that is what I'm doing. I'm just really packing that brown in there and then I'm going through with that fluffy brush that we used in the beginning and I'm just kind of blending all of the colors out making sure that it's nice and seamless so there isn't a weird divide line between the orangey color and the brown. Next I'm going with my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in the color black and I'm going to be doing quite a thick cat eye. You can do whatever size you want but I generally like to do really long thick cat eyes and for this one I wanted to make it a little bit thicker because we are going to be adding some fun glitter on top as well. So I'm just starting out with a thick line on both of my eyes and trying to match them up as best as possible which let's face it that is always the hardest thing to do with liquid eyeliner is to get both eyes to match. And then the next glitter that I'm going to go in with is by Imori. This is just a gold liquid eyeliner. I got this quite a long time ago, but it still works fine for me. And I wanted to go with gold just because it was something different, something I haven't really seen yet. So right over top of the black eyeliner that we applied, I'm going to be doing another cat eye with this gold eyeliner and this is, takes a lot of concentration as you can see but you really want to make sure you get it to match up with the black that way when you remove the tape it looks like you know nice and seamless and all that good stuff so just really kind of concentrate on making it nice and pigmented over top of the black eyeliner so it looks something along the lines of this right here that you are seeing Next I'm just taking a brown eyeliner from Neutrogena and I'm just applying that all over my waterline and then I'm going to go back in with that brush that we used to apply Dominatrix and put that underneath as well so this look is super vampy and super smoky and dark. And then of course we're going to go in with some mascara. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Spider Effect Mascara and just apply a heavy coats of this on both of my eyes. And then of course we are going to be moving on to the lips and for the lips which I'm sure you guys saw in the beginning of this video I wanted a dark lip so I'm going to be using this lip liner by LA Colors in the color chocolate and I'm just going to be outlining my lips.
I'm sure many of you have guessed it, but the liquid lipstick that I'm going to be using today is by Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the color Dominatrix. So I really wanted to use the Dominatrix eyeshadow and I also wanted to use the lipstick. So that's kind of where I got my inspiration is I saw the lipstick, I saw the eyeshadow, I was like, yeah, we're going to do a look like this today. So I'm just applying this on the top and bottom lip, kind of following that line where I drew in. And it's really hard with like dark lipsticks for me to make it super even. So if it looks a little uneven, totally my fault. I just don't get along with dark lipsticks very well. So yeah, that was me. Then for highlight, again, Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the color Peach Goddess. And on just my BH Cosmetics highlighter brush, I'm going to be applying this to the highest points of my face. And then for something a little extra to this look, I'm actually going to be taking some eyelash glue and I'm going to be gluing a gem on my face where I would get a Medusa piercing or a Filtrum piercing, whatever you want to call it. So I just applied that little jewel on my face, let that dry, and the look was complete and finished. Okay guys, so here's how everything turned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give a huge, huge thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. I would very much greatly appreciate it. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video.